Hello, Taurus, and welcome to Fifi and Gigi's Tarot Readings. Thank you very much, Taurus, for joining me. So, Taurus, for today's Tarot Reading, let's have a look. What is next for you in terms of love? What can you expect? Let's have a look what the cards are going to reveal and the advice. Once again, thank you very much, Taurus, for joining me. For those who are new, my name is Gigi. Welcome. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. Every week you get two readings, one from myself and the other one from Fifi. If you also wish to learn Taurus, please check out FifiGGTarot.com. We have a Life of Tarot course available where it's completely and 100% online and all the content can be downloaded onto your laptop or desktop. Excellent. So let's get started, Taurus. Let's find out what is next for you in terms of love, please. What can we expect? The advice from your spirit team? Any actions that you need to take? Okay. Behind the deck we have Victory. Mm, these are one of my favorite cards. The Six of Wands. Victory. Despite the odds against you, Taurus, you have victory. This is not though. It's not overnight success though. But you will reach your destination. Now, this card does bring several things. People clapping for you. People being super happy for you. Others, not so much. It's also this card, because when you make a lot of noise, Taurus, it does bring a lot of jealousy. What jealousy is this? Mm. So we have someone coming into the picture, the Knight of Cups. Someone offering you a transition, an opportunity, and a change. Just be careful with your inner circle, Taurus, because some people will not be super happy because you're moving on, you're succeeding. Ooh, Ace of Swords, off to a great start already. Love it. Oh, wow. Tower. Okay. Taurus, we have some uh, a new cycle that's starting with the Ace of Swords. This is mental clarity. Having that perfect, resilient mental mindset. Not letting anything stop you. Nothing. Nothing can stop you, Taurus. You are resilient. You have that perseverance and you break through any setbacks, challenges, anything that's in your way, you break through it. Now, we also have the tower. The tower is, think about the tower as something life changing. This could be a shock or a surprise, depending the card that we're going to pull out that, that's going to clarify. The fact that's next to the Ace of Swords and the King of Swords shows something promising, I'm going to say. But again, I need to say this again. I do need to clarify the Tower. You also have the, um, the King of Wands. This is someone that's very passionate. The King of Wands is known to do this. Please hold this. I need to do this. I need to take action. So, yes, I do see, it's, yes, someone coming into your life, the King of Wands, a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, very flirty energy, sexual energy. Like, you want to think of the King of Wands, when they see something, they go for it. They don't question it. They don't overanalyze it. They have this confidence, this, this energy that just, they don't care. If they look like a fool, it's like, I need to go for it. <laughs> Like you, Taurus, go for it. They will not hesitate at all. What else do we have? Mm, look at this. We have the lovers. We have the star. Also have the four of cups. There's a great opportunity coming your way, Taurus. A very great opportunity. It's almost like a wish coming true. See, and I just need to go to this card for a second. This is you, bored. I'm so bored. Everything's always the same. Have an opportunity that's coming your way. So think of the lovers as some unionship. You're the ultimate partner, life partner, someone that matches and mirrors you. Like you have the same views, the same ideas of life. You share everything together. The star is literally, think of the star as wishes being granted. Like literally, you're still holding on to that, that star, that string of hope and wishes are being granted because I feel like you've been doing a bit of 
manifestation work, Taurus, like seeing it in your mind's eye. It's like when you you sit in a quiet place and you feel it, you hear it, and you see it, and it's like literally the stars coming through, and it's like the universe is saying, "Hey, Taurus, your wish is my command." So, Taurus, make sure, even now, going forward, you think positive. You think about your goals. You think of, think about the things that you want, because there will be signs all around you, and you don't want to miss them, especially this person above. Don't miss it. Keep your eyes and ears opened around you. The Four of Cups is also telling you, gather your thoughts, start to plan. What else can you do? What actions do you need to take? What are your options? Let's have a look at the bottom, please. Yeah. Slow down, Taurus. You have the Ten of Wands. You're at the point of exhaustion. Overly tired. Almost too much stress. There's too much happening here. So you need to slow down. Try to slow down. Learn to say no. Ask for help. Because, and I get it, for some of you, you may have more than one job. You may have a lot on right now. But you've got to slow down. It's important. What else do we have? It's weird. I said you're doing some sort of manifestation work, and now we have the magician. The magician shows that you can manifest anything. I love it that's just above the star. You can do anything, Taurus. You have all the tools, the resources at your disposal, and you can do anything. You just need to believe in yourself that you can, that you can create anything, that you can manifest anything, that you can have it all. Yes, I'm actually saying that. You can have it all. Believe that you can. So when the magician makes an appearance, it's it's to the point that you've got to think about how you're talking to yourself. Are there any limits that you need to challenge about yourself, Taurus? Do you say to yourself sometimes, I can do that, but, you know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, dot, dot, dot. No, you need to remove that. You've got to work at a high level, not at a low level. We've got to work really high to a higher self. What do we end with? Let's have a look. Excellent. We have justice, Libra, energy, bringing balance in our life now. This is excellent. I like seeing justice. Justice on its own, yes, of course, on its own. It's a fantastic card. We can see that there is a balance now. The scales are balanced, so you're bringing that harmony, that peacefulness into your life here. It's like having, because the scales are balanced here, like you have time for work, time to see your friends, time to go out. This is excellent. Let's clarify, Taurus. Okay, we're using the mermaid cards. So if you do wish to purchase any of these tarot cards, that's down below in the description box. Let's have a look. What else does tarot... What else does Taurus need to know about this reading? Especially the tower. I'm very curious. What is this life-changing situation? What is going on? Okay, what else does Taurus need to know, please? behind this deck we have the knight of swords also with the tower something definitely life-changing is coming because we have the knight of swords it's going to be very quickly quite quickly i'm going to say like I don't think you're even going to see this coming, Taurus. Tower has come out twice, so think of something, some sort of surprise or shock that's coming your way. Completely life-changing. Let's clarify. Let's have a look. Ace of Swords. Followed by the Ace of Cups. Wow. I have a feeling there's new love coming for you, Taurus. Because with the Ace of Swords, you're so sure about someone and someone is so sure about you. How interesting. Ace of Cups. Emotions are definitely going to be triggered here. A lot of emotions. Like think about butterflies in your stomach. Think about the time, Taurus, when you went on a first date and you had that nervous energy. It's going to be like that. You're going to be like, wow, 
I've never felt like this before. The fact that you're getting two aces, that's rare to happen. It, it doesn't happen often. Often, Think of it as very good luck. It's going to completely change you. What about the tower? What can we expect about the tower? <laughs> so we do have the seven of swords. I feel like, again, this person is really going to fight for you, Taurus. They're not going to take no. There's someone that wants your attention. And the seven of swords, like, if you kind of, like, think about it. Seven of swords, like, this person is cornered. Think about you, Taurus. You're being, like, cornered because this person really wants your attention. This person is really, just really wants to take action with you. We want more information. There we go. Now we have the queen of wands. We have both the divine feminine and the masculine have come out. This could be someone of a fire sign, Aries, Leo. Yeah. But Sagittarius also, but the queen of wands. So this is, this is going to be quite a shock. And this person is going to be taking action because they're coming with a lot of fire, a lot of energy. And from these cards, I think it's going to be a great surprise. This person is going to fight for you. Something that you haven't experienced, Taurus. Something is telling me that no one's actually ever stood up for you or, you know, decided to fight for you. It hasn't happened. So that's why it's a bit of a shock for you. That's why you have the tower. You'd be like, wow, I can't believe the lengths that this person is going beyond to, to, to be with you. What about the king? What can you tell about the king? Yeah. It's going to affect your current address very, very soon. This change. But it, this change, it's, it will happen very, very soon. Because the four of ones shows that there could be travel. There could be a change of address. There could be a situation that's going to affect your current home address. The lovers. Yes. Four of cups. This has come out twice. This person is going to get you out of this boredom, this situation where you don't feel, this sorry, this situation that you feel bored, you're feeling, oh, another routine, another day. No, no, no. It's going to get you out of that situation because now you have the lovers. So this person, yeah, they're going to change your world, Taurus. Hope you're ready for this. What about the star? Hierophant. Wishes are going to be coming true because you want commitment. So this person is bringing commitment. This person, definitely not the type to be imp impulsive. This person likes to do things step by step. Think of a traditionalist. Because the Hierophant has come out, you, you'll probably meet this person face to face. It could be at a church. It could be uh, somewhere at a social gathering, perhaps with family and friends, but not online. No, this is not going to be online. This is more going to be face-to-face. -face. It's not going to be a wish coming true. The Four of Cups. Three of Cups. Again, this is so weird. I said it's going to be face-to-face. -face. You have the social, the most social card in the deck. The Three of Cups. I need you to do me a favor, Taurus. Whatever invitation you get, whatever invitation, you have to say yes. I don't care if you're already in your PJs, you're watching your Netflix TV show, you get that message, force yourself to go out. Do not say no. It is important that you don't, of course, if the if it feels right, yes. Or you do always have to be responsible. But for the love of God, yes, please say yes. Get out of your comfort zone. It's required that you get out of your comfort zone. Put on your best outfit. Put on your best cologne, perfume. You need to go out. It's important because this could be a missed opportunity. Say yes to everything. The Ten of Wands. Oh my God. You have the world. A new cycle begins. A brand new cycle. The world is literally your, your oyster, Taurus. You can have it all. Absolutely. You can have it all. We need to start to prioritize ourselves. Make room for this. We need to start to go out. We need to start making room to have more fun. The world is showing, in other words, travel, love, like literally anything. Like try to think of holding the world in your hands. 
and being able to do anything. How amazing does that feel? The magician, also with the six of swords. This is the travel card. Again, traveling, going out there, saying yes. Because you will be putting your input, manifestations, you'll have the gift. Because of your hard work, because of your input, you will be granted the gift of manifestation, this person coming into your life. moving You're also moving away from turbulent times and into calmer waters. So you're removing yourself from all the stress and anxiety and going into calmer waters. And also with the Six of Swords, it does mean that you're taking in all the lessons from your past. You really have used the past as, as a stepping stone to be wiser, to be better to carry yourself more gracefully, to understand what happens when you see those red flags. So you're a different person. Taurus, absolutely, completely different. Justice. This is amazing. You end with the star, Taurus. I'm going to say this already. By far, this has been the best reading this week. Taurus, you topped it off. Absolutely. You end with the star. And I need to say this again. Think about your ultimate wish coming true. And what does this wish bring? It brings balance to your life. You need to get out of this, this ten of wands. Like literally your, your spirit team are looking down on you, Taurus, and they say, yes, because of your input, because of all everything, all your hard work, yes, your wishes are going to be granted. Think of the star as divine timing. This person's spirit team, your spirit team, Taurus, are working diligently in the background to make this work. It's necessary. You go with the flow. You say yes. Put your best person, your, your best person forward. You show everyone who you are as a person. Absolutely amazing. You also end with the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles is the most trusted knight because this knight brings something real and tangible to the table. You know, like it feels so right with this knight that you don't have to question it, you don't have to overanalyze it. It just feels right instinctively, subconsciously, just feels right. This is amazing. So, the only thing you have to do, Tor uh, Taurus, as I said, doesn't matter how tired you are, make an effort. You've got to go. Something will happen face to face. It's going to be quite a surprise, life changing. The Taurus came out twice behind the deck of the mermaid. Life changing. Think about seriously, you're going to get out of this boredom. You've gotten this twice. Like this routine that you're constantly on, it's going to change. So this was the best reading. I love this reading. Amazing. Thank you very much, Taurus, for joining me. Power to you. This is, yeah, definitely. You need all the power. Power to you. Have a great week. And I will see you at the next reading. Bye for now.